day. Welcome to the whole lot of Zeb channel. I'm Rick. We'll be talking some diecasts. And of course, listening to Led Zeppelin in the process. I got a special video today here to start off with. I got an R.E.O.K. from my good friend Diecast Clown. Uh, so why don't we head on over to the table and let's see what we got on tap. Alright, these things are gonna remain carded. This this is just amazing. This is so friggin' cool. Um, this gave me miles of smiles. But to start it off with and then to finish it off with. Alright, let me first tell you guys. This is my first bone shape. Not just a bone shaker. Look at that. That's the moon eyes, man. He knows. He knows me. He knows I chase after the moon eyes. I love it. My first bone shaker, and it's a moon eyes. I dig this car. Thank you so much, brother. That is awesome. That is sweetness right there. Next up, it's a matchbox here. Let's see if you guys can pick up on the theme. This is a 33 Ford Coupe. Now look back behind that window there. What do you see? Uh, catching on here? That's another Moon Eyes. I love it. And it's a 33 Coupe. That is so sweet, man. Oh, man, I'm just digging this. Dude, I love the Moon Eyes stuff. Thank you so much. <coughs> and this is a Dodge van from the Highway Drift. And, uh, just wow this is so cool I, I I can't thank you enough dude DC you you're an amazing man uh, you're a good friend uh, you're 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 a good guy in the community um, I, I can't say enough nice things about you and if you guys look here down on the bottom of the wheel well, it's the moon eyes. We got the theme here rolling. So, and it's a clear top. And uh, it's a chrome interior. And uh, if it was a gasser and this had chrome interior, I'd be shipping one of these off to 2H AD Cat. Because <laughs> I know how much he likes chrome interiors and gassers. <laughs> I kid, I kid. So, we start off this great art AOK -okay with this amazing trio of moon eyes. And and here we come up upon this sweet piece from Racing Champions. And it's a 1970 Chevelle SS396. And that's awesome because most of my uh, 70 Chevelles are 454. So I, I actually do appreciate a 396. Um... I, I, I like a free 396 any I'd like to have a 396 to put into a muscle car <laughs> I'd like to have a muscle car to put a 396 in <laughs> the 
how sweet is that? And this is one of 2,000. Look at that interior. White interior, black steering wheel. Oh, I'm in love with this car. And, you, you know, just as even uh, Chris from CRA Diecast has mentioned, it, it, you know, it, it's a red car, so of course it goes fast. And the cops let you know about it. But who cares? I just keep putting the tickets in the glove compartment. <laughs> That is sweet, and but that wasn't the finale of this RAOK. Um, I know these these past two Chevelles, um, Diecast Clown and I have discussed it, and he, uh, I, I knew I was going to be receiving these, and I have uh, a gift box set aside for him as well. Um, I, I was just shocked uh, to, to see this in the box, at the end because when we talked, we, you know, I knew it was going to be the Chevelles, and then I opened this box up, and and there's three moon eyes sitting right in there, and a, a bone shaker. Damn, dude, you are awesome. So. Um, I do have, he had gifted me the red version of Dom Chevelle, and now I have the gray version of Dom Chevelle. I, I'm not sure if this is a 132nd or a 143rd scale, um, but I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, this is going to go great next to the red one. Um, and I have a, like I said, I have a box set aside, um, for, uh, DC, um, just been really difficult lately trying to get to the post office and with, uh, doctor's appointments lately and getting, uh, EKG'd and poked and probed and whatever just for, uh, hip surgery, um, but I want to try to get his package off to him before I go into surgery. Um, it's got a sweet uh, uh, Grand National collectible in it. And uh, I, I did originally find uh, a Racing Champions T-Type that I was going to give to him. But when I found this Grand National, I was like, no way can I give him the T-Type. This Grand National is what I got to give him because it, 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 it's a special collector's edition. So and I know how much the guy loves Grand Nationals. Um, that was my RAOK -okay from Diecast Clown. What a hell of a guy. Thank you, DC. Um... If you haven't subscribed to him, uh, do yourselves a, sa a favor and uh, go go punch that subscribe button and uh, check out his channel. It's nice to see his weekly hauls. Uh, sometimes he's got this spot down at the shore he goes to where it's peaceful and quiet and you can see the, the water at the edge of the bank um, just rolling in and out. And uh, he goes over his hall, and it's just such a peaceful, serene setting. Um, so go check him out if you're not a, already a subscriber. But I'm almost positive anybody that's already subscribed to me has already subscribed to DC. Uh, Diecast Clown. Uh, what I have up next is a new brand to me, and I had asked for David from Twice Diecast for his input um, as I value his opinion. And uh, I was looking at this car and I wasn't sure if I wanted to pull the trigger or not. And um, 
So I I brought David's attention to it and uh, from Twice Diecast, and I told him I said I'm looking at this uh, Takara Tommy uh, Tamika Premium. It's a Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7, and it's a one point it's a 161 scale. So it's it's really not that far off on 164th. Um, so it comes in this blister pack. Um, and inside is a cerellophane a wrapped cardboard box. Um, I already did this video earlier. And I was using my other iPhone to do the video and uh, it crapped out on me so I'm doing the video over again and I had this thing already opened so I, I sound like I'm pulling one of uh, Hewitt's Hot Wheels excuses <laughs> I'm just kidding with your brother it's all good fun I'm just kidding but that really did happen as I'm sure it happened to you as well too yeah right <laughs> Dude, I'm kidding around. So anyway, uh, when I get boxes like this or the Mini GTs, Tarmac, some people use a butter knife. I use a, a popsicle stick. And uh, I'm going to open this up in front of the camera here. Um, this was originally new to me when I opened it the first time. So we'll just pretend this is, wow, this is new to me. Um, it's still new to me. Uh, let's get it out of the package here. And, uh, so upon, uh, requesting David's opinion from Twice Diecast, um, I am happy that I can rely on, uh, people in the community for their opinions and their trustworthy opinions and uh, I trust David's opinion when it comes to um, cars that uh, I've not experienced that I know he has um, because he looks for the uh, strange and unusual um, I guess he's a bit like uh, what's her name from uh, Beetlejuice not that I'm comparing you to a girl <laughs> She just called herself strange and unusual. Not that you are. You look for vehicles, the brands. <laughs> I might as well just stick my foot in my mouth now. Jesus Christ. So I'm trying to show this Tomica Premium 911 Porsche S here. And it's beautiful. It, uh, this is the Premium Tomica. It's a... Uh, uh, Tarka, oh, let's see on the box here again, uh, Tark, Takara Tommy, and it's, uh, number 12, I guess that's the, um, collector's number, box number, um, let's see, let's see. Got anything on the bottom here? I can't read any of this, so if you want to pause it and read if there's anything there, I don't know if it shows stats on there or if it's just a brand because I know Siku shows stats, um, like the, the speed of the vehicle, uh, but it's all done in, in uh, kilometers. And of course, uh, sorry, I'm I'm from America. We we don't really handle the metric system <laughs> we should but we have to do everything different uh, anyway I'm gonna put this over here on the turntable and I will zoom in on it and we'll let that spin around while I was waiting for this car to show up from China um, I had this other car sitting um, in one of my boxes for a week, and this is uh, the Carrera 
911S Carrera. The 911 Carrera S. Um, it's Mini GT, and it comes. It's the uh, uh, number 210 for the uh, collector's number on the box. It's got the licensing. basic box um, but it's what's inside the box that counts and here is what's inside the box again this is the mini GT uh, I just showed the box and maybe for some of you who have just joined in Such beautiful detail on these cars, it's incredible. Pardon my fingers, I'm trying to show this the best I can up close. I wanted to show you something on the back of the uh, the Tomica on the uh, tail lights, what I thought was really cool. Uh, they got the uh, exhaust there. Crooned. Um, this is a beautiful casting. I'm I'm really digging this. So I'll, let me put this one down on the. Uh, turntable and bring your attention to uh, something here I noticed on on the Tomica and it's the rear tail lights I don't know what they did but there's some kind of material on them but it just works perfect um, I don't know if you guys can really see that or not It's just so cool. They did such a nice job on the detailing of this car. They really did. Um, and again, thank you to David from Twice Diecast for giving me your expertise approval opinion on this car um, as I value your opinion and I'm glad I do because uh, it's obviously trustworthy or I wouldn't ask um, you always steer me in the right direction never brought me down the wrong path that's a beautiful car that's a great casting so now I am probably going to wind up going down Atomica to car Tommy Hole. Uh, that'll be done over a period of time as most of them are coming from China. That's a bit of a costly purchase for one vehicle. I'm not showing all my Porsches, I'm just showing a couple here and there while I got them within easy access. I don't have to tear anything off the walls uh, to get to them. So while that uh, 911 Carrera S is spinning in the background and uh, Memphis is doing his best job to protect his uh, German counterpart heritage vehicle, and you know, I wonder why Memphis never does come down here anymore. He used to come down here and sit behind me while I was doing these. They stopped. All right, what I have up here is a Power 64. And this is 
the 911 yellow bird Sorry, I'm trying to get the focus here. There we go. So this is the yellow bird. And this is a true 164th scale, as is the Mini GT. I'll actually put it up next to the Carrera S and let these two spin around together. No, I can't. I got it on a plinth. But you know, what a beautiful casting the Paris 64 is. It'd probably be easier to see it if I didn't have it on the plinth, but it's kind of a pain to unscrew things and screw things back in again. I'm sure you understand. Again, this is uh, the Paris 64 Yellow Bird. 1987, I believe. 86 or 87. This is one car I, I, I can't get enough of, you know, of looking at it. it. It just, I look, it looks like you're looking at the real deal. I mean, if I can find a, a good uh, landscape photo to print out, I, I want to take a picture of it in that setting and uh, see how realistic it looks in, it, in, in that photograph. Uh, it's just, it's, it begs to be photographed. Okay. GT2 RS YSOC package. Uh, YSOC package uh, simply means that it has lighter materials, uh, a lot more fiber, uh, carbon fiber on it, as you can see. That black is carbon fiber. So this car is built lighter. It's definitely built for speed. Um, there is some luxuries added to it as well, uh, and some high performance parts um, aided in this car. Um, I would like to get the, uh, the white edition of it as well. Um, I do have it. I have another version in yellow. Pardon my fingers. Beautiful car. I love Porsches. And I've probably mentioned this before. I love German ingenuity. They know how to build stuff, I'll tell you.
significantly different. Now there was, I now I remember, there was a complaint I had about this car. Um, it, it is a beautiful casting. I mean, it really is. By all accounts. It's, an, it's a Mini GT, so I mean... Trying to find faults in a Mini GT is trying to like find a needle in a haystack. Um, unfortunately, I I may have come across one of them, um, and that may just be something that bothers me and not anybody else. But if you happen to look close at these door jams, there was too much paint filled in or primer <clears throat> uh, because. Uh, they they basically filled the gap in on the jams, and the doors were almost completely missing. Um, that's when that's what happens when you over apply uh, paint, um, especially when you're trying to keep creases. Uh, so I don't know what happened with the paint system there, but they went full on heavy and. Of course, uh, the door does not look completely there, um, and that's a shame. Uh, and the reason this isn't a Y sock is it, it, it's just the GT2 RS is the only thing carbon fiber on it is the hood. Um, and uh, the the performance package is different on this one than it is on the y sock as well. <clears throat> but how about those details? This one I will put up next to the uh, the y sock on the table. Well, that was it for my Porsches. Um, the Atomica was something that just came in the mail today along with uh, my good buddy Diecast Clowns R.A.O.K. -okay. So I figured I'll just uh, show a couple Porsches after I show the sweet booty I got from uh, Diecast Clown. So yeah, let me just put these both on the table next to each other. Memphis will be in his glory. Trees saying, now if only I had an Audi and a BMW up there and a Mercedes, he'd be walking around the whole place, checking out every car, making sure everything's in order. But here he can just be chill. Actually, I did lie. Uh, there was one more thing I received in the mail today. Um, I'll just show it while these are spinning in the background, real quick. Elvis's Jeep CJ5. So I'm a Jeep collector, so, I mean, how can you not have the King's Jeep in your collection? So I will be doing some type of uh, musical feature with this Jeep later on. Uh, I've already got a couple numbers in mind. But anyway, that was the, uh, the other thing I received in the mail today. Alright, so I'm going to close out this video. I've just been gone for a half hour now. I apologize, but there was a lot to go over. 
Um, as you can see, my wall is just getting too full. I'm, I'm really like, it, it, see it's going up on the walls there too. Above the TV, it's going below the TV. <laughs> it's right there. It's almost on the floor down there. Oh, and that, speaking of which, um, if you happen to be watching this, uh, Hewitt's Hot Wheels, um, when I have an opportunity, this is going to you. Um, it's nothing wrong with it. This card is perfect, and I'm packing it and sending it to you, so we'll make sure it doesn't get bent and if you want to you i mean it's your car anyway but then you can use those wheels on something else on the uh busted carded one um i just give this car out basically as my business card you know a whole lot of zepp led zeppelin that's what that's all about uh nothing more nothing less um but in any event, I'm sending you a replacement. Uh, I, I won't sleep at night unless I know you have one that's in good shape. Uh, ask Joe from XLT Off-Road Bear. Um, he had an issue with uh, a DBR1 I had sent him from the Shelby collection. And it was no fault of his, no fault of mine. It was a manuf manufacturer malfunction. But I could not sleep knowing that he had... A car that was given to him by me that had a malfunction. I I couldn't sleep at night. It bothered me too much. So I I got him another one to replace that. So um, it's no big deal. You're getting a new one, and uh, I will be shipping it out as uh, as soon as I can. I'm gonna find some uh, gases to throw in there for you, so you have some more materials to work with. Um, but there's that. So, uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me and watching, see what I got on tap and checking out, uh, my, my great friend, Diecast Clowns, R-A-O-K, and, uh, the new to me brand, uh, Tomica, that Porsche is sweet. Thank you for the recommendation, David. Um, you guys have been watching a whole lot of Zep channel. I'm Rick. Um, you guys take care, stay healthy, and I will catch you on my next video.